most of my career has been spent on a rare lung disease of women called lymphangiomyomatosis, which is a, a disease which causes cystic destruction of lung tissue, uh, pneumothoraces, which are collapsed lungs, chronic respiratory failure, and, and frequently results in death. It's driven by mutations in a pathway called the mTOR pathway, and uh, there have been targeted therapies for that pathway for some time. But the disease is so rare that uh, very few pharmaceutical companies were interested in doing trials, but a number of physician investigators around the country got together, did a trial, and, and demonstrated that the drug Sirolimus was effective for uh, reducing the rate of lung function decline in that disease, but pneumothoraces, or these collapsed lungs, continued to appear. We had established a network of clinics to take care of LAM patients and then embraced other rare lung diseases. And through that, those interactions, I, I ran into some patients with another rare lung disease called alveolar microlithiasis, which, in which the lung becomes basically filled with stones. And uh, through experiments in that disease, we found that these stones um, can be rapidly degraded by the body in the same way that your bones are remodeled by osteoclasts. These particles are remodeled by osteoclasts. We determined that this might be a promising therapy for, for these collapsed lungs through a process called pleuridesis. Uh, currently, if you have, if you have uh, refractory uh, lung collapses, we put talc in the chest cavity, which is a foreign body, which is there for the rest of your life, and it induces uh, inflammation and fibrotic fusion of the pleural lining so that the lung can't collapse again. These particles are uh, degraded by osteoclasts within a month or two, and they induce the same degree of pleuridesis in mice. So my project through Harrington is to develop a new particle for pleuridesis that may ultimately be useful in patients with LAM and other chronic diseases who are uh, patient communities where the frequent lung collapses are a problem. And if it goes really well, may even replace uh, first-line therapies for pneumothorax for even common diseases. Um, we're currently using uh, doxycycline and other agents for that purpose, but if it's effective and safe, uh, this drug may ultimately become useful in many more common causes of pneumothorax. Well, I've had a great experience with Harrington Discovery Institute advisors. Uh, as a physician scientist, I know very little about intellectual property or about bringing anything to market, and uh, they've been very helpful with an approach to the FDA and about uh, doing the proper toxicology experiments in the proper way so that uh, the FDA will look favorably on, on our, our package when we ultimately submit an IND. It's been a, a delightful experience. I want to bring something to market that has the potential to benefit patients, and I see this through Harrington Discovery Institute. I see a path forward to do that.